morning everybody see my dear friends in the last class we were solving a problem on this uh, uh, in sense now a circular column where in sense now the the reinforcement is in the form of a helix was that not and eight uh, bars are there here now longitudinal bars eight bars of 20 mm five as i have already uh, said over now helix means it it starts from here like this it goes it goes like this it goes like this it goes like this okay in the first instance he has asked you to calculate the ultimate strength of this column and the pitch is 15 mm this is the pitch okay pitch is 15 mm okay so in the last class we have calculated one quality column 0.36 ag by ac minus 1 into fck by f5 am i right now and its value was 0.0210 this we have called as relation number 1 if you if you just recall okay so now so now further we shall now proceed down in this class now for so now along with this quantity i need one more quantity what is that quantity means for so now i want to calculate volume of helical reinforcement per unit length of the column in a sense if i take per unit length in a sense from here to here if i take in a sense if i take one mm mm length if i take one mm mm length of this column was it not how much is the volume of this helix in this one mm length i want to calculate okay so volume of the helical reinforcement Per unit length of the column, I will call it as B H. Okay, this B H can be now calculated as circumference of the spiral. This is circumference of the spiral. You know, into its cross sectional area. Cross sectional area. Okay. Okay. That will give me the circumference of the spiral and its cross sectional area will give me the entire area. Okay. Divided by pitch of the spiral. Pitch is 15. Am I right now? So if I if I do this, I will get this pH. Okay. So now circumference of the spiral means it is pi into d, where d is diameter of up to the center of the helix. Now I will take the center of the helix as the diameter from here to here. Okay. It can be easily calculated as outside diameter of the helix minus pi s by two minus pi s by two. The minus c is it is the diameter of this spiral. Okay, okay, sir. So minus c is diameter of the helix. Okay, okay. So now outside diameter of the helix, you have already calculated it in the last class. It is three thirty six. Minus c is eight. Again, minus c is eight. If you do this calculation, it will give me two ninety six mm. In the sense, okay, it is the this diameter is up to the Center of the helix to center of the helix. This is the diameter I have calculated here now, two ninety six mm. Okay, and so now once I know this, I start calculating this pH. Okay, pH is given by as you know, it's here pi d into pi by four pi s one divided by the pH. PH is yes, I will call. Okay, so pi is pi d. Just now you have calculated it is two ninety six. Pi by four, pi s, you know, is eight mm. Okay, and the pitch is yes, is fifty. So it will give me nine thirty four point eight mm square. Okay, so now this will give me volume of the helical reinforcement per unit length of the column. Is it right or not? Okay. So now another quantity I would like to calculate. It's called volume of the core per one mm length. Volume of the core, is a core. For example, AC unit. Okay, AC into one mm length area of the core into one mm length of the column. It will give me the volume of the core PC. Am I right? So it is AC into AC unit into one. It will give me again the same value. Okay. So now I know BH here. I know BC here. So now I will take the ratio of B H by B C. Okay. Why I am doing this? Everything is given in the I S code. I will explain. Okay. So now I want another quantity. 
call it Vx by Vc. Over Vx is here, 934 point 8, Vc is here, it is so much. So it will give me point not 1 to 8, so much. So I will call this relation number 2. See what? First point I have calculated is 0.36 AG by AC minus 1 into FCK by FY. And second point I have calculated is VH by BC. Okay. Now compare VH by BC value with your this value. If you compare these two, you will see that VH by BC is less than this quantity. Am I right? Please check. Your VH by BC value is much much less as compared to this value. Am I right, sir? So, if this is the case, if VH by VC is less than this quantity, then what your IS score says is, actually, your ultimate strength can be calculated by this equation. Am I right? Okay? Your ultimate strength of the column is calculated by this equation. You know this equation. Okay, sir? So, if VH by VC is greater than this quantity, then your IS score says that, this quantity has to be increased by 5%. 5%. So, but now we are seeing that pH by BC is less than this quantity. So, but now I need not increase 5% strength. Directly, I am using this equation. But, but I know everything here 0.4 is 0.4. Yep, CK is 20. AC. AC means it is now total area minus AC. It will give you A minus AC will give you AC. So everything you know, so it, it, it will give me the ultimate strength as so much or 1406 kilometer. Okay, thank you very much.